All right, welcome to the presentation, everybody. So we're talking about the Resolution Center uh, within eBay today. And it's, it's an important thing that you need to understand how to use it, where to find it, why we use it. And so I want to address some of those questions. First of all, let's just show you how to find the Resolution Center. So when someone says, hey, you need to go resolve an issue within the Resolution Center or you need to find the Resolution Center, here's exactly how you do it. Um, I like to start out by going, of course, you have to be logged into your account, right? And so at the top right here where you get the My eBay link, I'm going to go to the summary, okay? The My eBay summary. And then here on the left-hand side of the screen, um, uh, more, more towards the top left, there's this um, section called account, okay? And I'm going to click on account. Okay, there we go, clicked on it. And under account, I know this is kind of small, so I'm gonna zoom, zoom, zoom in a little bit right here. Look on the left-hand column here, and I want you to look at this. This is the link to the Resolution Center, okay? So, let's click on it. All right. That's how you find the Resolution Center, right? Pretty easy. So Resolution Center says, we always encourage our members to communicate with each other when there's a problem with a transaction. The first step is to contact the member through the Resolution Center and try to resolve the problem. To start the resolution process, please tell us what your problem is. Okay, so let's stop right there for just a second and talk about what, you now know how to find it. Now let's talk about what it is. On, on occasion, there's gonna be a problem with a transaction, right? What kinds of problems are we talking about? Well, we're talking about on occasion, maybe as a seller, okay? We're gonna talk first from a selling standpoint. Maybe as a seller, uh, you sold something to somebody, but they didn't pay for it. Does that happen on eBay sometimes? It can, okay? You sold it. It didn't get paid for, right? Or you sold an item and you went back to your supplier and uh, lo and behold, it was out of stock. And you need to cancel the transaction. So you can do those things here. In fact, if you look kind of in the middle of my screen, um, I'll circle this. These are the options if you're a seller. I sold an item and either you would click this box or you'd click this box. First box is I haven't received my payment yet. Second box is I need to cancel a transaction. And mo in most cases, it's because they're out of stock. But there's other reasons why you might need to cancel a transaction. Some of you guys, and I can attest to this because this happens a little bit, will get a purchase here and there. And then sometimes just minutes later, to a couple of hours later, you get a message that's like, oh, you know what, I actually didn't want to buy that item, or I changed my mind, or my son got onto my eBay account and bought this and he shouldn't have, or there's a million different reasons why this the, the buyer might contact you and need to cancel it. You go to the Resolution Center to fix those issues, okay? Now, that's first as a seller. That's probably what most of you guys are concerned about, but also just as a buyer right here. And I think this is important just from a seller standpoint too, so you know what buyers do. If I'm a buyer and I, I ordered something on eBay and I never got the item, sometimes you'll find that people won't even contact you as a seller. They'll just go right into the resolution center and they'll come here and they'll they'll click, I haven't received item yet. Okay, bought an item and haven't received it yet, right here. And they're just complaining, right, to eBay about it. Basically, rather than resolving it directly with you, they're bringing eBay in to be like this, this mediator to fix this problem, which is kind of annoying, but that option is there. Um, second option is I received an item that does not match the seller's description. So maybe they're not happy with what they got, so they come here to the resolution center. As an, an eBay business and as an eBay seller, you want to keep people out of the resolution center. And you keep people out of the resolution center by shipping things on time and shipping shipping things or having a good supplier that takes care of things for you and does a good job. 
that always ships out the right type of product. But if something happens and it needs to be resolved within the resolution center, you'll probably get an email or some kind of a notice, and then at least you'll know how to find this section so you can resolve the issue, okay? Um, so this is this is eBay being the uh, the mediator, so to speak. Now, let me take you over to eBay's suggestions here about the, the seller center or the resolution center. They say, before you ever bring up issues yourself as a seller, number one, you want to talk to the buyer, okay, right there at the top. So it says you can solve most problems by talking to your buyer. If you don't have it, you can get the buyer's contact information, um, get tips on communicating with your trading partner. Anyway, so they want you to figure it out first before you bring eBay into it for obvious reasons. Number two, open a case in our resolution center. If you can't work things out directly with the buyer, you can open an unpaid item case in the resolution center. And I just showed you guys how to do that just a second ago, right? Now, why is that so important, right? Why, why is it if somebody buys an item from you and doesn't complete checkout and never pays or whatever, why is it important that you close out the item through the resolution center? Why can't you just delete the the sale or just not worry about it because after all, they never paid you? Why do we have to sort it out here first? This is assuming, of course, somebody bought an item from you and didn't end up paying, which is possible to do on eBay. I'll tell you the biggest reason. I think there's different reasons. Um, maybe you keep things organized, keep eBay in the loop, but I'll tell you the biggest reason. We had a client earlier who sold something in the neighborhood of $600. And uh, they're a newer seller, and it was a it was a consumer electronic item. So they sold the item, and then this this uh, buyer emailed them and said, "Hey, you know, uh, can, we, can we work out a deal? What's your PayPal address so I can send you the money?" Turns out it was a scam. So they bought the item, hoping to then trick the seller into sending out the item without paying through some emails they were sending. Long story short, they never got paid. The person never completed the transaction for the or, or the payment for the six hundred dollars. Well, if they just simply left it and didn't do anything with it, what happens about a month later? eBay sends you a bill, and what kind of bill do they send you? They send you a bill for how much? They send you a bill for ten percent of everything that you've sold. Not everything that's been paid for, okay? So in eBay's mind, if you sold the item, which it showed up sold on eBay, they don't care if it, you got paid or not. They want their 10%. Unless you cancel it out officially in the Resolution Center. So a month later, they would have gotten a bill for that $600 camera. It would have been 60 bucks. eBay would have been wanting. And it'd be like, no way. I never actually collected on that. Why should I give you 60 bucks? Well, you won't have to as long as you come in here and you open up a case in the resolution center that you haven't received payment yet, okay? That's the biggest thing that affects our clients and use an eBay business is this one right here. And uh, that's why you need to be aware of this and cancel, cancel out transactions officially. Okay, let's go back to my notes here. Question, anybody have questions about that? Does that make sense? Oh, and that's a good point too. Cindy, you said to make eBay aware that the buyer is not doing a good job. Um, that's true too. If you report a buyer enough and collectively as the eBay community reports this buyer for buying things and not paying for them, they'll eventually get kicked off of eBay, which is good for, um, which is good for everything. Okay, so this section right here. Timing is important. There's a limited time during which you can open a case. If you don't receive payment, you can open an unpaid item case in the resolution center as soon as two full days or 48 hours after the listing ends. So you can't 
immediately open one up. You have to wait a couple of days. For example, if the listing ends on October 5th at 11.15 a.m., you can open the case up on October 7th, 11.15 a.m., so 48 hours. If the buyer is no longer registered on eBay, you, you, you can open a case immediately after listing ends. I guess that would only happen if like the buyer was a scammer or something. Um, okay, this is an important one right here. I'm gonna circle it. You can open a case up to 32 days after the listing has ended. So you only have 32 days to get this done. Only, I say only 32 days. In other words, you have a full month or so. But don't get in the habit of waiting on things. If you have an issue, somebody doesn't pay, open the case, get it get it done and dusted so you don't have to worry about it. Otherwise, they're going to hold your feet to the fire and expect you to pay your 10%. And we want to avoid that. Um, last bullet point here is the buyer has up to four days to send a payment once you open the case. During this time, the buyer can also contact you to request a payment extension or to make other arrangements. So essentially what happens, guys, when you open up a, a case and say that you haven't received payment yet, over the course of those four days, eBay is bothering this person with, hey, you owe some money. Hey, you need to pay for this item. Hey, you bought this item and didn't pay. And they have four days to respond back to that. And if they don't, that's when you can move on to the next bullet point here, which is close the case. Let me scroll down and we'll finish up with that. Okay, so number three, we can close a case. You need to manually close a case in two situations. Situ situation one, the buyer didn't pay and you've waited at least four days after you opened the case. And situation two, the buyer paid but didn't use an approved electronic payment method. I'm not going to focus on that as much. Um, this is the one I want to focus on for just a second. So the buyer didn't pay and you've waited at least four days after you opened the case. You just need to kind of keep track of it. I guess you could go and check it, the resolution center because it will tell you when you can officially close it out. But just because you opened the case and eBay tries to contact them for four days, it doesn't automatically close once eBay can't contact them. You have to actually go in there manually to the resolution center, which is why I showed you where it is, and you have to close it yourself. Like you just click a little button and then close it. You can't do that within those four days because they reserve the right to try to contact the buyer. But once that happens, you go in there, four days elapses, you close the case, and guess what? You're not on the hook for your final value fees anymore. The 10%, you won't have to pay. Um, it's done. So it sounds like a, a lot of uh, hoopla, right? For for very little, but you have to go through this little this little series of actions here to make sure that you're not paying high eBay fees um, when when you shouldn't. I mean, I've had a few of you guys contact me more of my newer eBay clients that contact me and they're like, holy cow, Trevor, I owe $400 in eBay fees. I have no idea why. And we go in there and we find out that really they should have owed $200 because they sold several thousand dollars worth of merchandise. But the other $200 that they owe is because they didn't go in and close cases and report where they weren't being paid. So please, 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 this is why I share this with you now, Please use the Resolution Center. Close out these cases officially so you're not on the hook for payment. Okay? All right, let me see if I missed anything here. Um, once the case is closed, you can't reopen it. We talked about this just a minute ago little section right here once you close the case we may this is ebay talking we may take action against the buyer including recording the unpaid item on the buyer's account if a buyer has a history of unpaid items it can lead to limits or loss of buying privileges now i want to i want to make a note of something here if the majority of you guys are using buy it now a fixed price buy it now listing while you're doing your listing you'll notice that there will be an option for you to um, basically require immediate payment when somebody checks out. 
So in other words, I find the camera you're selling on eBay. I love it. I go in to buy it. And while I'm buying it, I'm forced on the spot to pay for it right then or else the transact or else or else it doesn't ever show up as bought. And if I don't pay for it right then, I, I it's not a purchased item. If I left that feature off, I could go in and buy the item and then pay for it later. I would recommend that all of you guys check that little box to require immediate payment. This is this only is really um, something you can do with uh, fixed price. If somebody wins an auction, they can come back later, but I, we don't really recommend many of you guys use auctions. We should all be doing buy it now for the most part, okay? Okay, that makes sense, everybody. Are we good with this? This is the, the eBay Resolution Center. I wanna make sure this is crystal clear so that we don't have any issues. Um, yeah, anyway, I won't go through any of the rest of this stuff. Okay, I think we're good, guys. Um, good session today. Uh, I expect you guys to be using this on a regular basis um, to make sure your eBay fees are not inflated. Um, hopefully this was helpful. I will see all of you for more training on eBay stuff next week. We'll see you same time, same place on Tuesday. Um, thanks again for coming along.